We present a computational approach for designing zippables. Zippables are objects which are made from a flat piece of fabric with a single zipper band attached around its boundary. Zipping them up creates surprising 3D shapes. In this video, we present a method to design and fabricate zippables for a wide range of target shapes. Our approach is to first design a single zipper curve on the surface of the desired shape, followed by a developable surface approximation. To account for the zipper's dimension and its resistance to out-of-plane bending, a special offsetting needs to be computed. Then, we obtain the flat zippable shape by unfolding the developable surface onto the plane. To determine the overall design of the zipper curve, we first partition the target shape into disc-like regions with small punctures visualized as blue points. The partitioning determines the flow of the zipper line and can be tailored by the user to delineate semantically meaningful parts of the object. After computing a special type of global parameterization based on the partitioning, we can quickly generate a single spiraling zipper curve that covers the entire surface. Our application allows us to manually tweak the curve, for example, by modifying the number of turns. Or changing the spacing. Once the design is finalized, the shape is remeshed to create a single developable piece. This developable piece is trivially flattened to the plane and overlapping parts are separated to create the cutting plans. We fabricate the zippable from fabric by using a laser cutter. After cutting the pieces, they can be sewn together and a zipper band is attached along the boundary. Now the only thing left to do is to zip it up. Zipping up this bunny took about two minutes, and the fabrication by sewing around five hours. To further assist and simplify the fabrication process, we compute and fabricate a bespoke fastening rig. The rig is made of three laser cut boards that can be quickly assembled. With this, the zipper band can be easily kept in place by simply sliding it in. The flat piece of fabric is then placed inside the cut tracks. Finally, the zipper can be glued to the fabric. The zipper band may need to be cut in a few places for better flattening. Now we can disassemble the rig and take out the finished zippable. After inserting the zipper slider, the final step is to zip it up. Thank you for watching.